Hey everybody, my name is Steve. I'm with FR Sky. I am the North America Fixed Wing Manager, and I'm here today to talk about a subject that people seem to struggle with a little bit, so I wanted to be very clear about this. This is all about flaps. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to create a plane. I'm going to create a SESTA 182 very quickly just so I can show you that this is a fresh model and how things would look when you set up flaps. So in order to set it up, this is the home screen right here. You can hit the icon, which is the airplane icon or model. I'll press model. Go into model, select, hit the plus key. I want to select airplane. One channel for engine. Two channels for aileron because it's a Cessna 182. Now, I'm selecting two channels for flaps. It could be one channel if you have a white cable, but I'm selecting two channels because I'm plugging these into channels six and seven. Uh, it has a traditional tail, and I have one servo for each elevator and the rudder. Um, I am going to give it a descriptive name so I can pick it out amongst the other models I have on the transmitter. I'm going to call it 182. Uh, if I try to select a photo in here, there's no option for it because this is a simulator. Okay, so this is the home screen. If I were to press the airplane icon this time, I can go into Mixer. And I told you this on channel 6 and 7. Um, that's what gets set up by default. You can make them channels 17 and 18 if you have an 18 channel receiver like the TDR18. Or you can be channels 9 and 10 if you have um, a uh, SR10 Pro. Or, you know, it could be wherever you have free channels. It's up to you where you want them. We do not assign channels for you, but we give you the option. If we're going to just give you the default, it'll be channel 6 and 7. Okay, so there you go. We're going to go into edit. I wanted to show you one other thing, too. If you were to double click on this, actually hold down. It's, let me show this again. If you were to hold down, press and hold, you'll go into edit. If you click on it once, you can select edit. Okay, so I'm going to press and hold. We're going into edit this right now. Um, I should take you back. I forgot to show you one thing. Right here, there's nothing selected as far as source, and that's a problem because even though we have channels 6 and 7 selected, we have no source. And the reason why is all these other things right here, ailerons, elevator, throttle, rudder, are all controlled by stick movement. This is controlled by either switches, sliders, or knobs. So you have to tell the radio which one are. I should call it the radio. It's really ethos. Tell ethos which one you want. So the first thing, I'll use the edit button this time. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to give it switch A's. That's what I want to use. They go return, go back. You'll see now that the source is switch A. So we're already making progress, but I do not like this. And we're going to fix that next. Go back into edit. This is the weights, which is the same thing as rates. And... If I go too quickly, you can see it jumps right up to 147%. Just 177%. I don't see it jump up that quickly before. So I really wish there was a faster way to do this. But anyways, please bear with me as I get this set to 100 and 100. Okay, I think we're there. When you've got it, hit return, and it gets you out of this. So negative 100, positive 100. Um, right away, that graph looks better. And now I'm going to teach you a little, show you a secret right here. If you wanted to, you could just about be done with this. Because when you hit switch A, you'll see that it moves all, you know, from negative 100 to positive 100. So it's negative 100, 0, positive 100. So that's set up, and you can just roll with that, and you could be happy. I'm going to show you a little bit more pure way to get this done. So the way to do this is to add curves. I'm going to add three curves, and we're going to call these add curves. I'm going to give it a name, F. L A P S type is a custom curve. 
instead of being five points, I wanted three points. Hit return to, to not to get out of this. And then instead of starting at negative 100, I'm starting at zero. And I'll show you why in a second. And I'm going to move it to negative 50. This one, I can move at the speed of light and it moves like molasses. Here we go. So I have zero, get out, zero, negative 50, negative 100. Um, and that, what we're looking at, this to me, it looks more like um, what I would imagine a control surface would be. So zero would be flaps up parallel with the wing, negative 50 would be half deployed, and negative 100 is full deployment. Okay. So, do I need to do that every single time? Nope. Just select Add Curve both times, and that's done. For the switch, remember I was on switch A. I want to use the first position to be switch A up, which it is. The middle position is switch A neutral. Last position is switch A down. All right. So that is set. Again, it does the same thing, but I think it's neater. Okay, so that is done. We have our switches selected. Um, if for whatever reason you found a white cable and you want to switch to one channel, you just switch that to one and only channel six would be populated. Uh, anyway, we're off and it's looking pretty good, except for one problem. And that's you guys love those 8.4 volt servos and if you're flying around and you jump really quickly, you can be a negative 100 or full deployment of flaps within under half a second. And your plane can like freak out in the air and you would not be super happy. Um, and possibly crash. So what I would suggest is that we slow this process down of the deployment. I want this to be something that is stellar. So I'm we use this thing called slow down and I want it to be about two and a half seconds. And my wife says that's my patience. So my patience lasts about two and a half seconds. There we go. All right. Now we'll go back down here one more time. And you will see that as I do this, those flaps are deploying back in. Watch as they go out. Okay. Nice. Two and a half seconds to do that. As it's moving to the next 100%, negative 100%, I should say. Notice it's moving to the left. Okay. And, you know, I don't know. This looks to me like something that would work. I hit return. This is a little slow on the computer sometimes. Usually. The, okay. The outputs. You can see that everything's moving to the left. Here's zero. Negative. This is fat, flat position. Half flaps. Full flaps, back to half flaps much faster, back to retracted, uh, for, you know, faster. It's one second for each of those, two and a half seconds down, one second up. Uh, now, let's just imagine that you have, let me just take them out for a second. You can see they're going to the left. Let's say that when you plug it into your plane and you fire it up, the flaps go up and you're freaking out. You can do this. You can go in here and you can switch out each channel to invert it. And let me show you what it does. You probably see it. You can see the flaps. Channels are moving the opposite direction. So now the if the flaps would... The mixture is going one way. The channel is going the other way. And the flaps would be going down instead of going up. Uh, I don't find that to be a really neat way to do things. So I'm going to show you how we fix that quickly. We get cancel this inverted madness um, we're going to go to back to the output screen when I get to the next screen uh, I can drag it next screen in the model screen I can drag it or I can use this page up page down and you can go from one to the other very quickly I want to get back to the one that I'm going to use is remember we set up the curves let me show you where we set it up at it was under mixer if we go into flaps and press and hold, I can hit edit and edit inside of here. However, 
we're going to press the page down button one more time. Going to curves. There's only one curve we set up because this is a new plane. Press and hold. Okay. Now, the configuration, points of configuration. We're going to keep it, the first point at zero. So the only thing we're going to change is this to a positive 50 this time. And this one you can go run like the wind bullseye. Do I have to pay a royalty use uh, Okay. Let's get out of here. Now that I fixed it, we're going to go back into the output screen. And as I deploy this, you can see that it's going to the left, both the mixer and the channels. To me, that's a neater way to do things. And that should be everything there is to know about flaps. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. My name is Steve. I can be reached at steve at frskynegativesignrc.com. That's steve at frskynegativerc.com. Thanks for watching.